what's going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about the 26 plus new camos coming to season 2 and beyond for MW3 definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below drop a like and also as a reminder we got plenty of brand new content going up over on detonated.com for those out there that want additional coverage of multiplayer warzone and zombies and even COD 2024 soon plus there's plenty of tweets every single hour on detonated's twitter now with that being said there's plenty of brand new camos coming to MW3 relatively quickly I think we've seen the most amount of camos added to a Call of Duty with MW3 alone. Modern Warfare 2 added a crap ton last year, but there's even more coming nearly every other week here inside of this new game. So a few of the new camos we're going to be discussing today were leaked all the way back during Season 1, and they didn't come out during the first season, so it's safe to bet that a lot of the camos that leaked out well over a month and a half ago are probably for Season 2, but I'm sure not all of them are going to be dropping in Season 2, as I want to make very, very clear. But first off, I want to mention something that did get leaked out again. I brought this up a good three-ish weeks ago, but with the launch of Season 2's patch, the usual data miners did find more references to Modern Warfare 2 mastery camos coming to MW3 weapons. That's a feature that apparently, according to Sledgehammer, was never going to be in Modern Warfare 3, but if references keep getting found for this feature, maybe this is planned for some type of post-launch update. There's images that have surfaced already of what appears to be a mixing and matching feature of not just MW two mastery camels on mw3 weapons but even event camels being mixed and matched it looks like camels are being applied to specific attachments on a weapon i feel like that's gonna make the gunsmith a bit more complicated to a point where things might break but maybe they figured something out where as a grand mastery reward or a special exclusive unlock they'll let you use any camel that you want on any weapon to the point of even mixing and matching certain camels that you would have never thought was going to be possible but that could of course still be attached to a scrap feature or something that they were just having fun with in the back end and isn't something that's going to come out publicly who actually knows i wouldn't hold my breath on it but also don't forget we're getting an animated inferno camo as a week eight reward as a part of season two so by doing at least five weekly challenges eight weeks in a row you end up getting this beautiful new camo which has me reminiscing a lot on garod crovey if you guys are familiar with black ops 3 zombies it's a beautiful camo that reminds me of the old pack-a-punch one but i love the idea of working towards something pretty cool after doing eight weeks worth of challenges we had the Coherence Camel release for free as a part of Season 1, and by doing 8 weeks worth of those challenges, that wasn't an animated camo, which I'm surprised about, but I honestly rather see animated camos as Week 8 rewards after doing 2 months worth of stuff, rather than just a still camo, but... Now before we continue, I just wanted to remind you about MitchCactus.com where you can get assistance grinding camos, nukes, or schematics in MW3. These guys do not use unlock tools or any bannable methods and will actually help you play the game. MitchCactus is also supported by Trustpilot with over 10,000 verified reviews. You can use code DYNAMITE for a limited time to save 5% off your order. Other than that, we also have some ranked-related camos here as a part of Season 2. There is a ranked veteran camo that you can get by playing multiplayer, and even a top 250 camo that you can also go ahead and unlock. And there's, of course, brand new ranked resurgence camos that I'll put on screen so you guys can see. I love the fact that with every season, if you guys do play competitive Call of Duty, there's even camo rewards for hitting certain milestones, which aren't for the faint of heart. Not everybody can get these camos, but if you put in enough work and you manage to hit this, huge congrats to you for sure. Now, also as a bit of a follow-up to the encrypted boot camp in-game challenge event which is still live right now when I'm recording this there is a challenge that I didn't get to mention in my original guide for this event I ended up making the guide a good day and a half before the event even started because we knew what all the challenges were now when I made that video looking at all the leaked challenges there actually wasn't a mention of this specific challenge which requires you to get 75 operator kills using covert sneakers and the blacklight flashlight perks and that challenge rewards you with the looking at you universal camo it actually glows in the dark which is pretty pretty damn cool so i just want to mention that here in this video there's also a zombies variation of that challenge requiring you to kill three abominations which might be a little bit easier for you to do depending on what kind of player you are but that's awesome that a universal camo is just a random reward for one of the challenges and isn't the mastery reward by completing the entire event figured i'd bring that up real quickly but if you want a full guide on the cryptid bootcamp event that video is still going to be linked down below we also have the carved camo which is actually a pretty good looking camo and that's a part of the letter 
Adam Cook CDL pack, which is actually a bit of a surprise to me because we haven't really seen camos a part of bundles all that often. I mean, with Modern Warfare 3 specifically, there was a bundle themed around the 100s, which is a clothing brand, and that bundle came out a couple of weeks ago and was completely free, but there was a camo a part of that pack, which I was surprised to really see because I figured at this point, with all the camos they're developing, they're going to find ways to tie them to in-game challenge events or some type of other method which isn't exactly free and will still require a bit of work but to get one for free through a gift pack that's absolutely insane now that's a good segue because in regards to how to unlock all the camels we're going to be discussing for the rest of this video here are all of the methods in which that will be possible so these camels will either be event rewards and that could mean doing one specific challenge or that could mean getting all challenges done and getting that mastery unlock you can also go ahead and unlock some of these camels by completing a specific set of weekly challenges we've seen it before by doing one set of weekly challenges you'll get a blueprint or even a camo of sorts we've also seen it to where by completing all eight weeks worth of that season's challenges you'll get a camo unlock which is of course universal so we're going to see that again here with season two and the last method in which you can earn any new camo is going to be for free via a gift pack so every so often we get free gift packs added into the item shop and it looks like camels are potential rewards for these kind of gift packs which is really cool so there's many methods in which you can unlock brand new camos in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, and I'm sure the methods in which you can do that will also get even better with Call of Duty 2024. We now have an animated camo, which is coming out at some point during Reloaded, which is known as the Wriggler camo. Now, it's kind of creepy looking and kind of gross, so we have a bunch of worms crawling through the camo itself, as you can see. This is apparently a mastery unlock for completing an upcoming Decay event, which is a part of the new Vortex mid-season update. The Vortex update during mid-season will bring back the three Vortex maps we saw in Season 1, and will also bring us variants for maps like Skid Row and Terminal. So there's a cool event tied to this camo, which I'm really looking forward to, and it's probably an XP-focused one, not an actual challenge event. But then when it comes to other event camos that I know we've discussed a little bit before, we first up have the Blue Steel Warhammer camo, which is going to be tied to an in-game challenge event that I believe is also XP-focused, considering that event is leaked out to be a two-week one. They'll probably give us a good 14 days to hit upwards of a million and a half XP total to get that brand brand new beautiful camo. There's also this camo that got leaked out, which is apparently tied to Operation Day Zero. That's going to be an in-game event that's tied to the launch of Warzone Mobile. That experience is launching globally this spring, which I believe is going to be connected to Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. By booting up Warzone Mobile on your phone and doing some in-game challenges, or just by playing that game, you'll unlock free rewards you can actually go ahead and use universally across MW3 and regular Warzone as well. And we then have the Barbed and Dangerous camo that's going to be attached to the Walking Dead event, which does begin at the end of February. I believe that event will also be XP focused where if you run Rick or maybe even Michonne you'll get an XP boost during the duration of that event but obviously you guys can reminisce on Lucille or just Negan overall when looking at that brand new camo. There's also a St. Paddy's event camo known as Thirsty Luck which is going to be coming out probably closer to St. Paddy's Day. I'm assuming an event of some sort or even a free gift pack will end up going live right before the actual holiday. In recent years for Call of Duty we've definitely seen some pretty cool St. Paddy's events. I think my favorite one is actually actually from World War II 2017, which was also made by Sledgehammer. I'm sure when the pass comes out for the mid-season 2 updates, we'll get more information as to how some of these camels are going to drop and what other events may be in store for the later half of Season 2. But now we have some other cool camos that I did bring up in a Season 1 video a little while ago. There's a mystery unlock requirement for just about all of these, but in terms of how you can get any of the camels I'm about to mention, refer to what I just said a couple of minutes ago in which there's several methods that they're probably going to incorporate these camos into for Modern Warfare 3 specifically. So we first up have the animated Windfall Camo. This one's badass, and I wouldn't be shocked if this was saved for like a week 8 challenge reward for Season 3, or it could just be an event camo that is tied to a collab we don't know about, or it's just an event in general that they're just going to end up dropping. I feel like we'll have to do a little bit of work to get a camo that looks this cool. But we then have a camo known as Cute Critters, followed by a camo called Royal Mess. Then we have one called Regal Death, followed by something called Mystic Wither. Every time I see a pink camo or just anything pink with leaks out there or data mines, I always think that it's a placeholder or something, but no, that's a real camo, I believe. We then have the Crimson Snake, followed by a camo called Melty. Next up, we have Flying High. This is one that leaked out during Season 1. We then have Abyssal, which is nice, bright and blue. That's obviously my color, so I'm definitely going to run this one. We then have Ursabic Royal, really nice yellow look to the camo itself. We then have Ductile Plates, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure this is going to be a camo 
all tied to a little bit of work that you have to put in. We then have Forest Gloom, a bit plain. We have Imperial Shields, followed by Tiki. We then have Velvet Radiance, and lastly, Hard Target. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all the 26 plus brand new camels that have leaked out from Modern Warfare 3? Some of which I know are already confirmed through in game requirements that we discussed. But let me know how I feel about the amount of camels we're getting in Call of Duty these days. Should this be a reoccurring theme for every COD moving forward? But leave your thoughts down below. I really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.